To rescue American hostage Kurt Muse from Panama, an elite special operations unit from the U.S. Army devised an insertion and extraction plan. They rehearsed repeatedly on a full-scale plywood replica of Modella Prison in a remote location of the United States. Does that feel for your head motion? Feels good? Yeah, feels good. Great, thank you very much. For the first time ever, miniature cameras secured to America's most elite commandos will provide a first-hand glimpse into how one of the world's most secretive counter-terrorist units operates. We're with uh, 2nd Battalion, 1st Special Warfare Training Group. We just witnessed the uh, four-man assault element going into an urban environment and uh, going through room clearing. If you watch the news at all, you understand that today's modern battlefield is no longer operating in the woods, and it's operating in an urban environment. So people teaching us, other special operations members, tactics in an urban environment is paramount for uh, success. Oh no, Sergeant's back. You notice he's got flashbangs, flashbang pouch on the back. They are there for the man behind him to grab him. We use flashbangs to stun possibly whoever may be in the next room and regain some momentum. It's a little surprise. He's armed with a Remington 870 shotgun, radio, 556 magazines. On this side, he's got a place for his strobe light, more magazines, secondary weapon, M9 Beretta pistol. And then primary weapon, M4 carbine, which is a 5.56 or a 223 caliber. 